What is going down y'all? Getting ready to get loaded up in the second gen heading out to Kingston, Washington where we're going to go see Big Nate do some dino pulls at the Corona Recovery Dino Challenge. So let's uh, let's get on the run. So we are just getting here to a flying wrench performance. We're going to go ahead and take a look at all the trucks and go say what's up to Big Nate. Here at Big Nate in the old Mega, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, it's a 2006 Dodge Ram 3500 Mega Cab. Uh, had it for about seven years. Bought it with about 100,000 miles on it. It's got 203,000 miles on the stock bottom end. Many, many renditions. I mean, I think everyone knows the Dodges, right? The uh, good old transmission tends to go. So I've got, I think, 48 RE number six from the guys down at Pure Addiction Diesel Performance. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, everybody. I uh, got a dual fueler set up from industrial, uh, so stock CP3 on the bottom, LBZ on top. Uh, got a set of DDP 125 over injectors. Uh, got a Freedom Racing Engines uh, performance head, fire ringed, ARP 625 head studs, uh, forced inductions, 476, 87, 10 T4. Uh, so, you know, big single. Uh, did, you know, half-ass wire tuck, but is what it is, cleaned it up, deleted the battery, borrowed a, a nitrous purge kit from a good buddy over at Built to Beat. Uh, we'll see how it does on the next event, but we got it all wired up and staged. Uh, still runs AC. AC can just tuck behind the intercooler. Thank you, Greg A, for that little piece of knowledge. Um, yeah, my buddy Alex over in Pennsylvania right now, he's the one that actually helped me get this all the way down to the frame last year, or two years ago and uh, build it up, do everything for it. We got a fourth gen limited Laramie interior swap done to it. Uh, actually, yeah. And what kind of power did you make today? Uh, so today on fuel only, it made 860 horse. And I think it was like 1400 foot pounds of torque. And then, uh, well, when good enough just isn't enough, we ended up running a uh, ghetto fog and it did uh, 1182 horsepower. And it did 1,987 foot-pounds of torque. On a stock bottom end. On a stock bottom end. Don't let the magic out. <laughs> she's, uh, she's hanging on for dear life. We'll see what happens. There we go. Thanks, man.
here with Colton. This is his 2007 5.9 with twin turb skis, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So it's a 40 over 5.9. It's a rod and piston engine, uh, just fuel only with the compounds. I built the engine, and my buddy over at uh, Specialized Diesel, he helped a lot out with it too. And um, Basically, I use the truck just to drive, have fun, tow trailers, and drag race with it. And uh, today we did 1,081 on the dyno and about 1,800 and I think 23 torque. And that was no power outers except for obviously boost, right? Uh, yeah, that's just straight turbo and fuel. Um, that's not even turned all the way up. It literally is only tuned for. Uh, we do have another click to go, but I ran out of injection pump, so she stays where she's at. There we go, next time. Yeah, next time. Hopefully make like 1100-ish. There we go, it's a sick truck, dude. Thanks. All right, well, we're back in the shop, and what a great day. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I took my son with me, and it was just a great time watching all those big trucks up there making crazy power. Um, yeah, so thanks to Big Nate for inviting us. I can't wait till the next time. I think this is a yearly thing, so it should be pretty cool to see uh, what kind of power Nate's making next year because I'm sure he's going to uh, keep on jacking it up. But as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we got all kinds of stuff coming your way.